So as many of you guys know, there is already a 99 Ed Tutal Jones wide receiver, and they just added a 99 Ed Tutal Jones cornerback card, and we have both of them. Many of you guys know I am currently borrowing this card. This is not my card. As you guys can see, my bank account is pretty solid, but it's if I were to buy this card, it'd be my whole bank account. But Ed Tutal Jones, 98 speed, 6 foot 9. Not much to say about this card. We already know he's one of the best, if not the best cards in the game right now. Actually, he might be taking a backseat card to the other Ed Tutal. Let's get right into him. And as of right now, you can only put one tier of the fan appreciation in the card. But as you guys know, he is six foot nine and he also gets every team cam, which can basically make him almost maxed out on the first week. But we are going to be running Acrobat pick artist on him. Universal coverage. And like I said, gets every team cam. I'm only in a 25 Buccaneers. I actually built it to get Mike, uh, Mike Evans, 99 speed. And it's helping me now. Now I have a 98 speed corner, which is the same speed as my attitude tall Jones wide receiver. Anyways, and you guys can see 96 excelled, 96 agility. He is six foot nine, 270 pounds. Really good man, really good zone, really good press. And when you take a look down here as well, he has really good tackling at 95, 92 power, 92 block shed. He has amazing finesse and power move like a normal D end would. And on, on his normal card, it's actually crazy. And if you take a look right here in the third slot, he actually gets outside linebacker abilities. I don't know what you would do with this. Maybe you have some scrape crazy scheme. I don't know. You could put enfor Enforcer, edge, I don't know. You could try something out. Maybe something gets glitchy. I don't know. Whatever you want to try. But today, we have both of the cards. I want to try out that brand new house rules that came out. And let's go off with these two. So as you guys can see, this house rules is a one drive. So basically, if I get a stop, I win. If he scores, he wins. And it's an offensive Madden. So I'm not really expecting too much. As Ed Tutal Jones on the first play of the game. He runs a screen and we hard flat at too tall. He has acrobat and that pick art is built in. You guys can see him hitting that whatever dance move that is. We already win our first house rules game. Literally on the first play of the game with the player we're trying to showcase. That is insane. It seems like EA really has no plan on letting me get the ball on offense with our Ed Too Tall, but that's okay because the brand new Ed Too Tall just came out on defense today. Let's see if we can get a stop here, though. Looks like he's just running a bunch of crossers, and it looks like literally two plays. Two plays to defense equals two interceptions in this video so far. I mean, I promise you guys this is house rules. I'm not, you know, I this is not playing. This is nothing. This is just me simply winning games easily so it seems like no matter what we're gonna be getting defense i don't understand it but like i said it's okay with me because we do have the brand new ed too tall looks like we have great defense on the field and we're gonna force a throw away let's all right so that is the first time we didn't get an interception on the first play really like i feel like this car could bait like crazy you guys can see he's over there on the left side right next to that 30 yard line i want to keep cloud flatting because i feel like that's the most baity route especially for somebody that is six foot nine I don't know, but let's see. It looks like he is running the exact same play that didn't work the first time. We're going to send Ed Too Tall at him and Ed Too Tall. I went for the strip. Didn't seem like we were getting it anyways, but still a good play nonetheless. He came out in empty. I hate playing against empty. I think it's the hardest formation to play against. And look at him throwing it underneath. We have a big fourth down here, baby. A fourth and three. We have the Beatty defense out here. Ed Too Tall is on the right side. Looks like he's going to throw right at us. That is just too easy. All right, so we need to get Ed Too Tall on offense. This is like, I, we, we're just clamping right now. Something's got to be broken. Something has got to be broken. I am back on offense or back on defense again. Like I said, I'm not really too mad about it because we are absolutely clamping people as there again, another incompletion. But I just want to use the other Ed Too Tall as well. This guy definitely, I don't know. He's just running a bunch of random plays, it seems like. Running the ball in house rules because the passing has not been there. Definitely a rough scene for the opponent. We did play him last game as well and clamped him. There you go, third and four, we're blitzing with Ed Too Tall in the flat, and he's gonna throw it right at Ed. Did he get the first? That one's just like Madden being Madden, you know what I mean? At least he stopped him before the fourth. Ed Too Tall with another tackle. I think he has a couple tackles. This guy is in, all right, all right. There's just no way he just came out in goal line, right? After last game, not getting a single. Last game, he didn't even get a single first down. And now he's fighting for his first first down, and we're going to be running goal line. This is absolutely brutal gameplay from De Donaldo777, and it looks like... Oh, actually? No way. That is insane. He doesn't have a first down in two games. Come on, boys. We finally get offense. You guys can see score a touchdown, and we got a new opponent. This is 
absolutely awesome and i forgot to change these jerseys off i know i had a couple comments in my last video or i don't remember which video it was exactly but a lot of people don't like these blue jerseys i'm wearing and i'll definitely change them next time i don't know looking at my screen as well because my screen looks different i do have the saturation turned up so it's a little bit brighter and cleaner it actually looks a little bit too bright with these jerseys i don't know let me know what your feedback on these looks like first play of offense so we're gonna force it up to ed to get our toes in we didn't know here we go. We got Ed Tutal Jones on this nice little crossover the middle. Looks like this guy just pulled his whole players to the line like that. Let's see if we can get anything going. Not the best spinner, I will say. That's the one thing that Ed Tutal Jones definitely lacks is after the catch, without a doubt. At the end of the day, now we're going to go for a bigger play like this. Not a corner out, but a big, deep crosser that should get over everything. Let's see. Actually, it looks like this guy is playing very... He has like 30-yard flats on the field. Are we going to get anything working? Oh, we're going to... We're not going to talk about that. That was embarrassing. There's no way he plays perfect defense like that again, right? There's just no way. There is no way. You guys could see we're going to throw a low ball here to Ed. And there he goes, man, picking it up for us. That was a risky, risky ball. I can't tell if he's calling random defenses or if he just keeps on. I don't know, but let's see if he's in cover two again. We moved Ed to tall out to the outside. And if he's in cover two, we should have a bomb over the middle. Looks like we're going to have a 1v1. Actually, oh, it's going to turn into a 2v2, Ed. Oh, no. That dude's tall is kind of panning right now. I might take him out for a couple plays. We already burned a timeout. As you guys know, stamina is absolutely broken in this mode. They have not fixed it all year for whatever reason. But we're going to have a wide open tight end as well. Let's go, baby. Here we go, man. This guy is definitely trying out new defenses mid-game. He's got to be, right? He's got to be. The stuff he's been running. We subbed Ed Tutal back in. This guy actually used the timeout, which actually helped me. Let's see if maybe we could throw a high ball back there. Oh, kind of dumb play maybe, but no, Ed Tutal is going to come back and get it. I feel like I threw it right at the right time on that. Like, I I'm, I was about to throw it even before that. I threw it right at the right time where he was standing exactly still, and it came back to the ball. We'll take a touchdown with him. He's dominating on offense and defense. How can I get better than this? I'd be lying to you if I did not click an accidental play, random play. So I don't know. We're going to try to make up something here. I don't know. This is Coach Suggestion Demon right now coming out of us. We're in a second or what is it? Second offensive game here. And okay, never mind. A four man rush just actually just killed the six man. I got instant sacked. 4v6. Nice. Nice. Okay. All right. All right. Like I said, that's just really fluke, right? I don't know if that's just house rules being house rules, but that was very, uh, Kind of a sad uh, take of events right here. It looks like really nothing open at all. We need Josh Allen. Wow. Okay, that was good defense. The first one was fluke. That one was good defense. We need something now. Third and 23. He's getting sheds with a four-man rush. Absolutely brutal. We're going to throw this low ball here. We have a big fourth down here. You guys want to see something? He's been running the same play every single time. Just watch this. We're going to flip over here. And to beat cover six, we're just going to streak a tight end easiest thing in the world it should work right it should work let's see if it is is it gonna work it, it did look at there it is there it is i told you guys the match on cover six and they don't have zone drops on is just awful and it leaves everything wide open look at ed too tall taking benefit of an awful defense look, there it is i cover six four plays in a row now we're doing the same thing we're flipping over to the side on the weak side right here we're gonna streak the tight end let's see if he's in cover six again um is he going to be uh, it looks like Ed Too Tall is going to have a wide open touchdown. I think he is in that cover six once again. This guy just did not adjust at all. We'll take free touchdowns every day, especially with the guy we're doing the gameplay on. In all honesty, I really think these two cards are the best cards in the game right now. The corner and the wide receiver. Even this corner, without being 99 speed, I still think is the best corner in the game. I feel like everybody thinks that as well. I do... All right, boys. All right. Well, we're definitely going to include that, but yeah, normally I feel like normally somebody would definitely cut that out the video, but that was a uh, the first bad play I've ever seen Ed Too Tall Jones have. Uh, very sad. Let's get into another one. Definitely uh, an awful, awful event that happened the last game. I will say that was definitely not fun to play against. I don't know, a fumble on the first play of the game sucks, but like I was saying, I do think both Ed Tutal Jones is the best wide receiver in the game, and I think his corner card is the best corner in the game. I don't think that's like a bold take either, as he's good. All right, I, some of these games have been just like, so like, there's just no way people are just throwing interceptions like that, right? But all right, we'll take an interception, but like I was saying, they're definitely number one at each spot. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video, but yeah, like I said, house rules, definitely a little bit out the norm. I do like it, though, to change your pace. I do think head-to-head -head gets a little bit stale, and I think house rules is a good addition to the game, changing up everything. I hope you guys enjoyed Ed Tutal at corner and Ed Tutal wide receiver. Definitely the two best cards in the game right now, I think. If I were to do the top 10 cards in general in this game, I think they would be 1A, 1, or yeah, 1B, whatever you want to call it. Definitely right there. I hope you guys enjoyed it, though, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.